Competition for resources such as space, nutrients, or sunlight is an integral part of nature, and organisms have evolved many different methods for competition with others. While animals can compete in a more direct manner, certain less complex organisms have developed different ways to fight for resources. Some species of plants, fungi, and bacteria have taken advantage of chemicals to hinder the growth of organisms that may threaten their survival, a phenomenon known as allelopathy. While this has been known to humans for thousands of years, a greater understanding of the biochemical reasons behind the phenomenon has only come about in the past century. This understanding has led to the improvement of ecological systems, novel medicines, superior farming practices, and smarter ways of tackling invasive species across the world. Throughout their evolution, terrestrial plants have interacted with animals, bacteria, and other plants. These interactions were key in defining the biochemical response of plants to outside stimuli. Herbivory has been one of the strongest driving forces for the development of chemical defenses, as animals have been dependent on plants for food for hundreds of millions of years. Approximately 130 million years ago, the emergence of flowering plants led to a sharp increase in insect herbivory. Plants that possessed certain secondary metabolites, chemicals which were not directly important to their survival, but offered an advantage by harming any insects that preyed on them, survived longer and reproduced more than those that did not. Over time, plants evolved more and more complex allelochemicals to counter the increasing complexity of herbivores. Because allelochemicals are byproducts of the metabolic reactions required for plants' survival, but themselves are not essential, they are typically found in low concentrations in plants. Allelochemicals found in relatively higher concentrations typically function to lower the digestibility of the plant matter, making it unprofitable for herbivores to consume the plant. These molecules often require more energy to synthesize, but are found stored throughout the plants and are often more effective in discouraging herbivory. Allelochemicals found in lower concentrations are typically the more toxic variety and inhibit critical metabolic pathways in animals, which often leads to death. These molecules can be easily synthesized and transported through the plant to the location of herbivores, or can be stored in the leaves or flowers of the plant. The production of these compounds is heavily dependent on the carbon and nitrogen available for the plant, and plants lacking either essential element may produce different allelochemicals or produce none altogether. Plant secondary metabolites are typically small organic molecules, many of which are derived from amino acids or sugars. Alkaloids, the most common allelochemical, with over 3,000 varieties studied, are nitrogen-based molecules that have wide roles in various systems in the human body, as well as those of other animals. Alkaloids can inhibit the function of enzymes, disrupt the synthesis, replication, and transcription of nucleic acids, or impact the integrity of animal cell membranes. By doing so, they can have severe effects on the nervous, circulatory, and respiratory systems of animals. For example, strychnine, derived from seeds of the strychnine tree native to Southeast Asia, is a potent toxin to birds and insects, causing death by muscle convulsions and asphyxiation. Glycoalkaloids, alkaloids modified by the addition of sugars, are commonly found in the leaves of plants such as nightshades and disrupt the digestive systems of herbivores, discouraging further consumption. Many plants also use proteins, such as protease inhibitors, pore-forming proteins, or ureases, that disrupt metabolic processes within animal cells by similar methods as small organic molecules. Proteins can affect components of cells quickly and frequently, which offers an advantage over many small organic molecules which are limited to acting on one molecule at a time. Abrin, a protein isolated from seeds of the rosary pea, prevents protein synthesis in animal cells by inactivating part of the ribosome required for synthesis. 
a single abrin protein can inactivate over 1,000 ribosomes per second, resulting in rapid cell failure. Like small organic molecules, proteins can have serious effects on animals, proportional to the amount of plant matter consumed. Plant interactions with bacteria, especially in their root systems, have also greatly defined the metabolic byproducts of plants. While bacteria can provide benefits to plants, such as making critical nutrients more available, the metabolic byproducts of bacteria can be harmful to plants. Plants are known to secrete allelochemicals that control the bacteria and other microorganisms in the soil to make the soil acidity, nitrogen and carbon content, and many other factors favorable for their growth. Plant root secretions can also serve to make metal ions available for uptake, which benefits plants and possibly bacteria living in conditions where necessary metal ions are not biologically available. Fungi are also impacted heavily by root secretions of plants. Many fruit trees are known to attract beneficial fungi and repel harmful fungi by chemical action. Likewise, biotic and abiotic factors in the soil can impact what plants can grow in a specific region. Entire forests have often been shaped by soil bacteria and fungi. Plant allelopathy against other plants enhances the survival of specific plants either by altering the microbiome of the soil or by directly producing allelochemicals that inhibit the growth of other plants. The phenomenon has been observed in many plant features, most commonly foliage and fruits. One well-known case is the black walnut, the fruits of which contain a chemical referred to as juglone that inhibits the growth of almost any other plant. When the fruit drops from the tree, it creates a zone where few other plants can survive, an environment that guarantees a new sprout will have enough light and water to survive. Many trees of the genus Aloe casuarina contain allelochemicals in their leaves that completely cover the ground below trees, preventing the growth of weeds. The release of allelochemicals, while beneficial to certain plants, can harm soil health in the long run, as can be seen in monoculture plantations of some trees. Although not aware of the biochemical basis of allelopathy between plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria, humans have been aware of the effects plants have on animals and other plants since ancient civilizations began domesticating plants for human use. Cover crops such as rye have been cultivated with the purpose of limiting weed growth for more than 2,000 years, and ancient Central American cultures used a method of crop rotation between staple crops in part to prevent allelopathic chemicals from building up in soil. Medicinal plants have been used for thousands of years to cure minor ailments such as headaches, inflammation, or muscle pains. Research into the chemical forces behind allelopathy and plant interactions with other organisms intensified in the late 1800s, as scientists recognized the importance of understanding the phenomena on a microscale level. Exactly what allelopathy means has been heavily debated, with some using the word to mean any chemical interactions between living organisms and others referring only to those between plants. Modern research on ecological biochemistry and allelopathy focuses on areas that could be applied to medicine and pharmaceuticals, sustainable agriculture and forestry, and stopping invasive species. Allelochemicals found in the leaves and flowers of plants have found purposes as medicinal compounds, and the knowledge of how allelochemicals interact with bacteria, fungi, and plants has led to possibilities of taking advantage of their properties for remediation purposes beneficial to humans and greater ecosystems. Many of these novel discoveries on allelopathy have already been successfully applied to agriculture in parts of the world, but much is still not known, and research into the subject could drastically improve how humans use plants for our benefit and that of the planet. Many modern pharmaceuticals are derived from plant allelochemicals due to their ability to interact strongly with human body systems. While high concentrations of plant toxins are dangerous, small doses can be beneficial in controlling human cells' metabolic processes. 
Aspirin, or acetyl salicylic acid, is a painkiller derived from salicylic acid found in willow bark, where it functions to prevent bacterial growth and allow willow branches to grow in new environments. Paclitaxel, one of the most heavily investigated anti-cancer drugs, is derived from the bark of the Pacific yew tree. Innumerable other plant toxins are currently being investigated for therapeutic purposes, such as abrin, one subunit of which has shown some potential as an anti-cancer drug. The allelopathic interactions of plants are believed to play a large role in the success of some invasive species, which inhibit the growth of other plants to spread faster. This has been demonstrated in the Tree of Heaven, a species native to China that has become invasive in many countries, in part because of allelopathy. Garlic mustard, another invasive species prevalent in North America, disrupts the relationships between native trees and fungi, helping itself become established in new regions. Because of the dependence of allelochemical production on the carbon and nitrogen available to plants, it may be possible to limit allelopathy in certain areas by controlling the availability of nutrients. Methods of reintroducing native bacteria and fungi to an area taken over by invasive species have also shown to be helpful to a small degree in reclaiming the land by strengthening the allelopathic response of native plants to invasive ones. Plant allelopathy can also be used in agriculture as an alternative to synthetic herbicides and to promote the growth of mutually beneficial plants without expending valuable resources. Leptospermone, an allelochemical found in lemon bottle brush, served as the inspiration for an herbicide that has slowly been replacing its synthetic counterparts over the past 15 years. Residues from plants that are harvested only for a small portion of the plant can be used for the extraction of allelochemicals, which can help minimize waste and provide a way to fight weeds. Grains, such as rice and wheat, are known to secrete allelochemicals that inhibit the growth of weeds, but not other cultivated plants, a beneficial trait and one that could be used for more effective companion planting. Hybrid strains of many crops could help limit soil fatigue from allelochemicals. Positive allelopathy between plants also leads to better soil health by attracting bacteria that help return nutrients to the soil. In addition to preventing harmful herbicide runoff, positive allelopathy reduces the amount of fertilizer crops require. While much work has been done on the subject, our understanding of how plants use chemical signals is still just developing. A greater understanding of plant biochemistry offers the potential for better medicines, improved agricultural practices, and more robust ecosystems across the world, and ongoing research can revolutionize many aspects of human life. Thank you for watching, and as always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like or subscribe for more educational documentaries. Check out more videos on the channel or check out my friends' channels for more content.